Yeah, the chicken was chicken. Alright. In flexo, unlike litho, um, the, the repeat, image repeat, is a function of the overall cylinder diameter, print cylinder diameter, and how many images around it is. If it's six inches in, the, in circumference, rather, and it's one image, you've got a six inch repeat. And that correlates to how many teeth and all of that, as you found out. You have to have the correct number of teeth, that we'll go into that later, relative to the images, okay? However, when you're talking about flood coating, tint rollers, uh, as long as the, the gear tooth corresponds correctly to the diameter of the tint roller, it doesn't matter. It, its relationship to your, uh, to your plates and your die is not important like it is when you're considering your plates and your die because this is just a continuous print. And they correspond the same. The gear tooth has to be the same as this. Right. It has to. This, this has a certain diameter, which means it has a certain circumference. And there's an appropriate number of teeth correlating to that. Okay, so so this is probably the right configuration for this, and they've already used it. Okay, um, and you can put another tint sleeve on this of different widths and stuff. So you're probably going to have. We need a little bit wider window, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, we're going to get to that. Okay. So here's the thing. So now we say to ourselves, okay. So as far as the diameter is concerned, I don't have to worry about that. All my tint rollers are the same diameter because they come in these little tubes that we slide onto this shaft and we just put different collars on it to hold it in place, okay? So, I'm not worried about the diameter or the gears. This is the right thing. Now, the only thing is, is it wide enough or narrow enough? This is the correct width. This is how we determine that. <laughs> in Flexo, That's real, didn't you? here's the material, okay? Okay. It's running in this direction, okay? That's just where we break the material, okay? okay? Now, in the, the, the coating roller is going to be printing on it, and it's going to flood coat this just a continuous color. In this okay. case, it's, today's label is going to be blue. Okay. All right? But now, the problem with Flexo, or, or a reality of Flexo, is that makes it different from offset, is that we can't print with a roller that's too wide enough to go over the side of the material because this starts to build up on your impression somewhere and it creates a mess. So we cannot go, we, we're limited, we cannot go wider than this substrate, okay. all right? So now we are at six inches on this substrate. So the roll has to be less than six inches, okay? okay? Now, our label width is five and a half inches. It can't be any narrower because if it's narrower, right. and it, it's going to have white right. on, yeah. on the top or the bottom or both. Okay. So it's the, it's got to be greater than. It's going to be greater than five and a half. Greater than five and a half. And less than six. Right. Well, five and three quarters would give us an eighth of an inch over in terms of printing on each side, okay. giving us some room for the little roller to vary. But it'll be an eighth of an inch in from the website in each case. Okay. So a five and three quarter inch tint roller will probably be ideal for this application. Okay. So what we need to do now is find one that's that width or make one. Okay. Now, 